Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Chef Shelly's Kitchen. You know, in light of the fact that uh, we're in kind of the season of corn and other vegetables, I thought it would be really good to show you how to make um, corn on the cob without boiling. I don't know about you, but I know I grew up, whenever I had corn on the cob, it was usually boiled. Uh, what we've come to realize is that when we boil our vegetables, in many cases, we tend to boil out the nutrients. And we don't want to do that. Remember, um, this segment is all about making um, recipes that are delicious, healthy, and simple. So uh, I'm going to show you two ways to make corn on the cob. And uh, you can choose either way based upon the amount of time that you have. So one way I'm going to show you is, um, and what you're going to do is either put this in the oven and you're going to bake it for 20 minutes, or you can put it on the grill and cook it that way. But I'll show you again how to go about doing it. The other way is going to be in the microwave. Now this is only if you have three minutes and that's really all it takes to cook this. Um, and there's a funny story that goes behind the uh, microwave uh, corn on the cob. Um, some former neighbors of mine used to live in Wisconsin. They were around um, corn farmers and uh, they used to boil their corn just like I did. And I remember they ha had them over for their home for dinner. And uh, the um, farmers were like, oh my God, what are you doing boiling the corn? No, just keep it. Um, in its natural um, sealant, the shuck, uh, as most people will call it, and then just simply microwave it and it maintains a lot of the nutrients. So we're going to do both ways. So let's go in and start with if you choose to do it the longer way. And you know what, this works, especially if you're going to bake chicken or something like that, which is part of what I will actually have with our dinner tonight. And so you can put it in the oven at the same time. So what you want to do, obviously, you're going to um, clean the corn off and um, you're going to put, and what I've done is I've melted butter and uh, we had some discussion last week about butter and the importance of um, using that over um, artificial kinds of things like a margarine. Um, another thing to be careful of where butter is concerned is sometimes they also add things to it. I mean, I, I pretty much use a generic butter. Um, and the thing to keep in mind is when you look at the ingredients, there are two things, cream and salt. You wanna try to stick to ingredients that are one, maybe two syllables long. When you start getting monosaturated, hydrogenated, what have you, those are not good for you. So simple, basic ingredients, make sure you check the ingredients. So you notice I kind of polish the corn all around then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add my seasoning to it, my little bit of salt. Again, as you all know, I prefer uh, sea salt. I'm going to sprinkle my pepper on it, just, you know, just so. And then what you want to do is you just fold it up in your aluminum foil, like that, and then just put it in the oven. Now, I did cook some a little bit ahead of time because I wanted to make sure that you'd be able to see what it actually looks like when it comes out. Um, certainly when you're grilling it, um, it's going to have a slightly different color to it. It'll be more um, of a toasted kind of a, of a feel for it. I usually cook mine even on the grill at about 375, likewise in the oven. So while that's working, let's start on the three minute. You're really short on time. We're going to do is simply put this in the microwave and you're going to put it in for three minutes. We'll just go on and allow the three minutes to, um, to take place. And um, you'll, you're going to see very um, easily and quickly how um, I can take this out and it's all ready to go. Um, one of the things you're going to notice is that I'm going to put these little uh, stickers, <laughs> corn holders, um, on the ends. Um, if you're curious as to where I got these, most places you can go to a Walmart or any of the um, food stores, um, cooking utensil kinds of stores, and pick these little gadgets up. This is a great time also because we're changing seasons. 
So what we're going to do is actually, while that's um, cooking in the microwave, we're going to make use of our time. I'm actually going to take out the corn that I cooked earlier, and um, I had it in already for 20 minutes. And I've asked my husband to come, and what he's going to do is actually sample the corn. Um, so I'm going to just kind of take it out here. Uh, one of the things you'll note, it's just um, piping hot. Again, this is not the one I just put in. This has been in. This is already cooked. Um, and so I'm going to just stick my little corn holders in as such. And then I'm going to invite my husband to come over and give it a try. Hot. Hot. And mm. is it mm. delicious? Delicious. All right. Mm. So that's, uh, mm. you want your spouse or your significant other to do their happy dance. You're going to want to try and cook the corn delicious. this way. Delicious. So thank mm. you, my love. Mm. <laughs> um, so that's corn cooked in, again, the oven or the corn cooked um uh, on the grill. Either way is just fine. So we've got a couple of seconds here left and um, what I'm going to do is go on and take this out. It's almost done. So I'm going to just in light of time um, take this out. Now you're going to find it's very hot. Okay. So you do want to wait a little bit on it. Um, I'm going to probably rush it along a little bit in light of time and uh, you do need to have something to help you pull it open. The reason why I'm not allowing it to um, cool per se is because I want to put that butter on right away. So that's part of what I, part of the reason why I'm not doing. So again, be careful. You don't want to burn yourself. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to even use my fork here to help me get this out. We don't want to burn ourselves and voila and that's not even been I had like three seconds more you just again polish this the same way I polished the other one um, just like so and you're gonna put your seasoning on there again just a little bit of salt not a lot folks because you want to stay healthy and then you want to put your um, pepper and there you have it, um, an easy way to make corn on the cob. It's healthy, right? Because you didn't boil out all the nutrients. It's delicious and certainly simple. 20 minutes versus um, three minutes um, in the microwave. So if you found what I've shared today to be helpful, what I would ask you to do is share the video on your page. Um, it's really kind of more of a public service. I'm not selling any products or anything like that. Um, but if you find that there are other people that you would like to um, learn how to cook things that are healthier, um, simple, um, then by all means, like the page, but also share the page. So until next week, thank you so much for joining and stay tuned. Have a great one.